We're soon to be embarking on a new adventure within the Fallout universe, and this time it looks like our journey will be starting in the mysterious Vault 33, one of the many underground bunkers scattered across the United States that both harbour the survivors of a great atomic war and a number of dark secrets. Now you might be thinking that surely there's not a lot of info out there about this new vault, but there are actually a few things that we can gleam about this facility and its place within the larger Fallout world. For starters, we've had confirmation that Vault 33, its inhabitants, and the events that unfold within it all reside within the main Fallout universe, taking place over 200 years after the events of the Great War that turned the world into this post-apocalyptic wasteland. The residents of Vault 33, however, will know none of the hardship faced by those survivors on the war-ravaged surface. Residing safely underground for multiple generations, a community of anywhere between a couple dozen and a few hundred vault dwellers, enjoying many of the benefits of pre-war life, while sealed safely away from the radiation and violence of the outside world. But unbeknownst to its residents, many of these bunkers have often been used by their constructor, the Vault Tech Corporation, to conduct a number of bizarre and horrific experiments on the inhabitants. From placing inhabitants into a virtual reality simulation, to housing 20 men and 10 women alongside a panther, the experiments were as bizarre as they were diverse. Now from first impressions, Vault 33 seems relatively unscathed, after 200 years sealed away from the surface world, so there is a possibility that it could be one of the few control vaults that were built, bunkers constructed without any kind of tampering or interference by Vault Tech, done to allow for some of the pre-war population to survive unscathed, and provide a set of control data to compare against that of the experiment vaults. There are a number of eye-catching aspects of what we've seen so far, however, that could allude to there being more to Vault 33 than meets the eye. For starters, we know that there is, well, a Cyclops Vault Administrator. Could he be the result of some experiment in which the Vault was slowly exposed to radiation? Potentially. However, we don't know for certain that this guy is even from Vault 33, as we know that there will be at least two other new vaults we'll learn about, those being Vaults 4, and 32. What we do know about Vault 33, however, is that something leads to an outbreak of violence that disrupts its over 200 years of peace. We can see a brutal fight breaks out in what appears to be some kind of indoor hydroponic farm. Could this be caused by some experiment, like how in Vault 92, inhabitants were subjected to a torrent of subconscious white noise that drove the Vault dwellers to violence? Or perhaps after years of being cooped up underground, potentially with resources running out, tensions are just running a bit high. These events nevertheless will lead to Vault 33, opening up to the outside world for a vault dweller called Lucy to go out into the wasteland on some kind of rescue mission. But where exactly in the wasteland is she bravely venturing out to? Well we know that Vault 33 was built in Los Angeles, Santa Monica to be precise, and it's going to be looking a lot different to how it did pre-war, as during the events of the Great Atomic War of 2077, Los Angeles was hit by multiple nuclear missiles, reducing the city to rubble, a sprawling waste filled with the skeletons of buildings lying out under the hot sun. In the year 2092, the inhabitants of another vault, known as the Los Angeles Vault, would emerge and begin forming ragtag settlements across the ruins of the city, naming this barren hellscape the Boneyard. And the Los Angeles Vault itself would go on to become the Cathedral, the base of operations for the mutated monstrosity known as the Master an evil genius and leader of the mutant organization Unity, which sought to forcefully evolve the remnants of humanity into a new race of hulking supermutants, ridding humanity of its differences and reasons for waging the very wars that created the wasteland. The Master won't be a worry for the residents of Vault 33, however, as due to the vault opening up in the year 2296, Lucy will be entering the wasteland 135 years after the Master's downfall. It's also a world set 15 years after the Courier's adventures in New Vegas, so while we haven't seen much of them yet in this new setting, we know that the New California Republic 
A sprawling and prospering federal republic controls the Los Angeles Boneyard as one of its states. Protected by its powerful military, the NCR has, as of the year 2281, begun to rebuild parts of the Boneyard. But like I said, from what we've seen so far, the New Californian Republic are nowhere to be seen. A group who are very present, however, are the tech-obsessed military organization, the Brotherhood of Steel. They appear to be operating out of their own military base, which could be the former government security bunker, Lost Hills, the major seat of power for the Brotherhood since its founders sought sanctuary there in 2077. And it looks like the Brotherhood have been gaining in power in the lead up to Vault 33 opening. We know that nine years earlier, the Brotherhood's East Coast chapter began their expansion out into the Boston Commonwealth under their new leader, Arthur Maxon, using a giant airship known as the Pridwin to help hunt down synthetic humanoids. And it looks like the West Coast Brotherhood have also been bolstering their military might with their own airship, the Cass Wenon. Tensions are likely to be simmering between these two factions, however, due to a decades-long brutal war which saw the NCR and Brotherhood tear chunks out of each other. Could these tensions boil over again into a full-blown war that affects the fate of Vault 33? Well, we'll just have to wait and find out. What experiments do you think could have been subjected on Vault 33? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe to join us again soon. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. The Lord Tor's Spaceport is your destination for tours through the most fascinating worlds, groups, and events in the multiverse. From sci-fi to fantasy, we have it all, so make sure to subscribe and book your next trip with us.